One of my best childhood memories is of coming downstairs and finding my mother sitting in her big comfy chair and she was darning socks. I really wasn't sure what she was doing at the time, um, but as I got closer, I was enamored by the different tool that she, the different tool that she was using. She was using something like this, which is called a, um, it's called a darning egg. This one is pretty beat up. It's one that I got off the internet. I wanted to get something more antique-ish and this is what I found. It's, and also it reminds me so much of the one my mother was using. That's such a good memory to me. And I just wanna show you what these tools are. I have a darning egg and I also have a mushroom. I, these are, this is something that I've just recently discovered. I don't know how long these have been out for. Um, these aren't very expensive tools. And if you're interested in saving your favorite socks or your favorite sweater, these are the perfect tools to use to get the best results. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is fix the toes of this sock. We're going to use the darning egg. And what you do is you use the shape of the egg to shape the sock as you're sewing it. We pick a thread that matches the color of the sock. We're going to make our knot by wrapping it around the tip of our finger, rolling it down. There we go. Okay, we're going to slip that in there. Because our toes are curved at the top, we need the sock to also be curved. And that's why we're going to use the, the egg. One of the tricks to the egg is that you have to make sure that you are scratching the wood of the egg so that you're making sure that the fabric gets caught on both ends. The challenge with a sock, with sock material, stretchy material, is that it has a tendency to curve under. So when you flip your sock over, you might have actually missed some of the fabric. That's why I want you to scrape that needle along the egg, the surface of the wood egg, so that you can make sure you're getting the edge of both edges of the fabric. There we go, and we've got that, we're developing that curve. Okay, there we go, beautiful. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna repair the tear in the ankle. I already started sewing this with the same process. You turn the sock inside out, and then you put the egg in there. And there we go. It looks Fantastic. It's not going to be perfect, remember, but it will do and it'll preserve that sock so you can wear it for a lot longer. And don't worry if your stitches aren't perfect. Next, we're going to be working on mending a sweat sock. Here's our sweat sock. And I decided to pick a spot that is always worn out in my husband's socks. And that is the ball of the foot in a lot of the socks, it's the ball of the foot. So what I did was I slipped an extra sock. Like, you know, we have those, those socks that don't have mates. I found a sock that didn't have a mate and I took that and I put it inside the other sock and I traced the hole, pull it out, and then you're gonna make, you're gonna cut that out a little bit bigger than the size of the hole because we want to make sure that it patches the entire hole on the sock. Now this isn't going to be pretty, but it works. We're going to use our mushroom. 
our mending mushroom and we're going to pin that patch that we created from the other sock and again try to find a sock that is an extra sock that is um, lots lost its its mate and so then you don't have to use any extra fabric you're just using up socks that you wouldn't be able to use anyways and it doesn't necessarily have to be the same color if you don't want it to be or you don't have a sock that color remember this is going to be on the bottom of your foot so no one will see what it looks like there we go you want to pin it in place and you're using that mushroom as a way to hold the sock see if you have sweaters or anything else you can use the mushroom the same way and there you go we are all done it's not the prettiest sock but if you're a gym goer it will do the job thank you for watching my video and i hope you have a great day we'll see you soon